So now that you're in the, the Ramon Wright role, how does it feel? Did you, did you take a lot, get a lot of pointers from Wright or from watching him on yeah. tape? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely, uh, he was definitely somebody that I I looked up to and uh, even asked a lot of questions just my freshman year learning from him. He had such a good feel for uh, for that short yardage position, and uh, definitely learned a lot from him. Uh, running leaps over the line of scrimmage and all pile of bodies. Uh, Ramon Wright could get some air time. You had a pretty good launch mm -hmm. recently. You know, that seems like a pretty <coughs> nerve-wracking thing to do. Mm -hmm. Is there a mental side to being like, all right, this could hurt? Yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> doing it my first time in practice, I got hit real hard my freshman year, and that kind of uh, scared me. But then just kind of, it, it is really mental, just getting over that, that uh, fear of, jumping over there you never know I don't like having my feet off the ground that much but it's kind of just part of the position and uh, it's actually ended up being uh, this year at least hasn't been too painful I mean just <laughs> pretty light over the pile just land on the ground is any of that scouted when you look at how the opposition plays in those situations mm -hmm. do you kind of have an idea before it happens maybe I can get over the top or maybe it's better to go mm -hmm. yeah it's that it's definitely scouted. Usually, it's a uh, it's just easier to go over the top. But we'll have our short yardage, uh, uh, like install on Wednesdays, and we'll see where, where the softness in the defense will be, or at least where we think it is. But a lot of it's just feel, and it's a it's a quick couple one second. Got to make that decision. Yeah, gotta, so just got to got to feel it out. Uh, obviously, there's uh, it's been an uncertain situation at quarterback mm -hmm. the last couple of games, but the offense has also taken some steps. Mm -hmm. um, and I was wondering how you would evaluate the offense the last couple of games as you guys try to find a rhythm. It's, rhythm was a big word of the week after the San Diego State game. Yeah, yeah, we've definitely got a, a good rhythm. After the, well, before the San Diego State game, we were talking with uh, our honorary captain, and he mentioned uh, big momentum, or actually it was uh, the USC game. And he said uh, that that's definitely something you need on your side. Big Mo is what he called it. So uh, we've just really been searching for that momentum, and it feels like these last couple of weeks we've kind of found it. We've uh, been doing real well in the run game. We've had uh, our offensive line has been opening up some crazy holes, and Bryce has been really capitalizing. And uh, we've been throwing the ball better these last couple weeks too. So I think we're starting to starting to click. We don't know who's gonna play quarterback on Saturday, Keller or KJ. I'm assuming you guys don't either. Uh, what's that situation like? You know, in terms of uh, you know, do you just trust the coaches to tell you who's gonna be there? And then once you're all 11 on the field, you just have that excuse. Yeah, for sure. We definitely have trust in uh, not only the coaches, but in both quarterbacks. We know both of those guys can step in and, and do their job and do their job well at that. Uh, we just are, are, are waiting and, and anticipating just as much as everybody else to see who, who gets the nod and give them uh, the confidence, let them know that they could do it and go after it and get, get it done. Do you expect to probably see both of them at some point? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's really just up to Coach Shaw right now. I really have no clue what he's, what he's thinking yet, so... Uh, just kind of, kind, of, kind of going along with the flow. Uh, I was curious, uh, your vantage point and, and other guys on the team, when they see J.J. go up for these contested catches mm -hmm. one after another, and, and uh, especially that last one, unfortunately, mm -hmm. that he got hurt on, it mm -hmm. just seems like DB can be wrapped around him. He's yeah. a catch. Kind of mm -hmm. your view on that. and The level of difficulty. You guys know yeah. more than most how hard mm -hmm. that is. Yeah, for sure. I was just talking about it with uh, Brandon Simmons. We were like, I don't know if we've seen a seen a corner that's been able to guard him one on one, even with with help over the top. Uh, JJ's been having an incredible year ever since he stepped into the ro his role last year after uh, Francis got hurt. He's been pretty much dominant on in jump ball situations, running routes, blocking. He's been been doing an incredible job. What do you see when you're returning kickoffs? Mm -hmm. What do you look for? Uh, do you, do you know where the the blocking going to be before the kickoff, mm -hmm. or is it just where you know what 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 goes through a kickoff yeah. return? So uh, I mean, throughout the week we'll have a, a a bunch of looks of what we're expecting them to do. We scout to see what their kickoff team uh, has done or what we expect them to show versus us. And then uh, I mean, I'll, I'll think just just look it out, watch watch tape, see where I think our returns will go. But in the game, they usually end up going somewhere different. A lot of the time, it's just a. I follow my uh, off returner who ends up being my lead blocker in Dorian Maddox, and he's been doing a great job too. So it's pretty easy. He sees the hole, and I just go and hit it. How much has, has Bryce's play inspired everybody else? I mean, you all knew this was in him. He's shown mm -hmm. it, but he's taking it to a different level right now. Yeah. I mean, does that 
Is it contagious? For sure, it's definitely contagious. We're all just fired up to see see each other doing well. And I mean, when he's doing well, that means our our offense is usually doing pretty well too. So it, I would definitely say it's contagious. Definitely so proud of him. Like to see the way he's been working, and also it's a lot of our offensive line the way they've been opening up holes. So it's been real cool to watch. Cam, are all these tapes on your right arm? Is that for tendonitis or something? <laughs> I might show show my oh, colleagues yeah, yeah. what we're talking about yeah. here. That um, I uh, when I jumped over the pile versus UCLA, I hit my elbow on my on the ground and popped my bursa in my elbow, so a little bit of swelling. Ah. But yeah, that's, that's what it is. The hazards of <laughs> the job. I guess. Yeah. What's Brennan yeah. up to? I uh, just you know week in week out with the Texans playing, doing pretty well. Got a big win this past weekend, so pretty fired up for him and and for the squad. What does Utah like to do to get pressure on the quarterback? Uh, they bring a lot of blitzes uh, in their front seven. is nasty, probably the best best front seven we've seen all year in their defensive linemen and linebackers. They bring bring a barrage of blitzes and really have done a good job getting getting hands up on the ball when quarterbacks are throwing it and pressure on the quarterbacks. Is it? Do you feel like because you've been in a lot of really loud environments by now? Do you think there's anything that can be done in practice that actually truly gets you ready for for what you're going to face? Uh, you know, not really. I mean, after seeing what, how loud Washington was last year, I mean, it's hard to really, really compare that or get get a real in-game feel like that. But, I mean, definitely our uh, the speakers with the music playing at practice and we do pump in some fake crowd noise at practice definitely gives you a, a little bit of a taste, kind of gets you ready. But once you're in the game, it, it's a whole different zone. Pretty good. Sorry. Thanks, Thanks, Cam. Thanks, Cam. Good, good luck no. to you. Thank you. Thank you. Sit out first play of the next game. <laughs> <laughs>